My days running together right now. <laughs> what have you taken away from your time here and, and the last few weeks with Pete and the crew? Uh, just the camaraderie. You, uh, this place here has great chemistry. We love it. Great chemistry. Just uh, came to a place where everybody's competing every day. Uh, familiar faces. Uh, it's been fun. What does this team or this scheme allow you to do the best with your skill set? Allows me to play fast, physical, and aggressive. Allows me to get off, penetrate, uh, be disruptive. Uh, a lot of things is uh, if you reach, you stay reach. Just be back there and cause havoc. Or you've been a lot, uh, not a lot, but you've been a few places in this league. Like, what, what's unique about King, King, King. how they do things here, how he runs it? Uh, it's a it's a player base. Uh, he listens to the players. Uh, he works really good with the players, and he takes care of us good as well. And uh, I just like the whole scheme, man. We have athletes on every level of the ball, D-line, linebacker, secondary, and it's good to go up and be able to contribute to it. We hear that a lot of taking care of players. What does that mean? Um, shoot, majority of the coaches have played in the league, so they know what it's like. They know how our bodies feel. They know what we go through. And so a lot of the times they, they understand how to work us and still get the most out of us without necessarily being out here three hours or four hours, stuff like that. You've been around long enough, you don't necessarily need snaps <laughs> Saturday in Green Bay. What, what would you tell some of these young guys that are still trying to make an impression about that game? Uh, you know, you're not just playing for this this organization. You're playing for 31 or other organizations. And what you put on tape is what they're going to have. And, uh, you know, you can either continue your career and be three, four, five, and nine years like me, or, you know, hey, it could go a different way. So make sure you put what you want to see on, on film. What do you think you guys are up front defensively from what you've seen throughout camp and preseason games and everything? How would you guys are going to be able to bring to the table? Uh, we're going to be able to bring a lot to the table. Uh, like I said, we're from Mafe to D Hall to uh, DT, uh, those guys are just athletic and strong and can and bend on the edge. On the inside, you got Dre, me, and Jay Reed. And I just look at it like a three headed monster. You get a little bit of everything from us three. And I just think that we're going to play some hard, hard mouth football this year. How's this system fit you? It fits me great. It lets me be an athlete. It lets me be uh, aggressive. It lets me play physical and fast. Not much thinking, just get lined up and kind of go. What can you tell about what Jay Reed um, does in the communication in this scheme? I know he was away for a couple of years, but he knows this. Uh, it was good. It, recently, even yesterday in practice, just uh, communicating with our guys. We were able to look at each other, kind of have a little head nod or a little communication, and we understood that we wanted the game to be ran. So just kind of understanding how to communicate and what certain guys are like, how they like to run certain games, how they like to rush, and kind of, you know, assess them. When you sign relatively late in the spring, what were your expectations? Uh, kind of like what's going on here. Just an opportunity, an opportunity to get out here and earn a spot, an opportunity to get out here and play. Um, I had a lot of familiar faces. Tracy was my special team coach in uh, Oakland. Uh, LeVar Campbell was my player development coach in, uh, in Chicago. I played with Nico Thorpe, played with Darren Bates. So when I got here, it was like familiar faces. It was like home to me. How much 3-4? Uh, have you mostly been a 3-4 mm -hmm. in your career? Mm -hmm. What else have you done defensively? I've been outside linebacker. I've been all up and down the line, man. Four, three, three, four, pretty much everything. What they're asking you to do with gaps, is that familiar to what you've done in three corners? Uh, yeah, I mean, when I first got drafted here in, uh, in Oakland, uh, Ken Norton was the defensive coordinator there along with Jethro Franklin. So it was a lot of the similar defense here, there. So it's kind of like running what I did as a rookie. What's it like having a dad who played on the other side? Uh, it was great, man. It was good to have a coach that I can go talk to and then also talk to as a dad as well. Kind of have the blueprint on the coach's side and the player side. And, uh, you know, at a young age, I kind of knew what I was doing, what I was going to be when I grew up. Did he take you to the football field or were you taking him to the football field and asking to play catch and work on your game? Uh, it started off with uh, him taking me and started taking me around the Cowboys facility, in the facility. And then it started getting to the point where I started beating him in the workouts. And so it was fun. Yeah, once I started lifting in the in the threes and fours, he quit he quit lifting with me and working out with me. Thank you.